Good morning, team. How's the rest? How is your sheltering in place going? Fabulous. Um, mine is fine, I guess. It's same and boring and whatever. And my hair is very exciting now. You can see this fun little guy right here. Got that little curl. I got whatever this thing is doing over here. Everything is just crazy. So next time you see me, I might try to, uh, I don't know, not have it this tall. I might let it curl and see what happens. Ah, we're back to the to the curl. You don't care. Let's start reading, shall we? <laughs> um, I hope that all of your hair is doing well while we're sheltering in place. And if it's not, you should tweet me pictures of it. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> we are at week 33. No, I will not ask her. What is this? Are you also 12? You ask her. James, you are going to make me go to juvie so fast my head will spin because I am going to flick you in your beard if you keep asking me about Mrs. B. Fine. I will look and report back. You know she reads this though, right? This is not very sneaky of you. It was like 147 degrees this afternoon. I'm not exaggerating. My jeans were stuck to me in places you don't want to think about. Where are your shorts, Timothy? Mrs. B was wearing a floaty dress. It's so hot, you'll get heat stroke wearing jeans. I didn't say anything. Go in there. She pointed to her tiny bathroom. Hand me your jeans. My swamp ass jeans that haven't been washed in weeks? <laughs> no way, you crazy lady. That's not what I said, though. I just shook my head. A broken record head shaker. Then she snapped at me. A hurry up mom person kind of finger snap. So I went into the bathroom, hid behind the door, threw my swamp ass jeans at her, waited, hidden in my underpants, face hot, but cooling off. After a few minutes, knock, knock. A hand reached around the corner like in a horror movie, but instead of a hatchet, this hand was holding shorts, cut off shorts that used to be jeans. I put them on. My knees breathed for the first time in weeks. I stepped out of the bathroom and Mrs. B smiled, a triumphant benefactor. Those were Jose's jeans, I said. She stopped smiling. I started smiling, then I started laughing, and she started laughing, and I thought we would never stop. Dear Dr. Sawyer, subglottic stenosis. That's what Levi has. I know you know what that means. It is like taping your nostrils shut and trying to breathe through a tiny coffee straw glued to your lips. That's why he has the trach. Your website says you fix things like this. And since you have a website, I imagine, and I am only guessing here, you must know how to use a computer. Also, your super fancy fingers that can magically fix tracheas must also be able to, and I'm still guessing, type emails. Please write me back, Timothy. It's so hot that if the sun had a sun and that sun had a sun, and you put all of the suns together in one giant oven set on broil, then set that oven on fire, that would be about half as hot as it is today. Just walking to Jose's house, I sweated about 16 gallons, which is exactly what Issa said when she opened the door. Did you sweat 16 gallons walking over here? Her nose turned up. Shut up, gordita! Jose pushed her out of the way, pushed a controller in my hand. Aliens to kill, bro. Stat! I gave Isa a look that hopefully said, Sorry for being gross. Sorry your brother is an idiot. Sorry it is the fiery hotness of 10,000 suns today. She gave me a look that said, Take a shower. Don't. Mom pointed at me before I could say anything. Papers all over the table. A calculator. Carla Ramirez's card. An open brochure for the facility. Don't. She couldn't look at me. Couldn't look at Levi in my arms, signing more dog instead of brother, pulling my hair. Don't! She shouted it this time, standing up fast, fluttering the papers, knocking the chair over, making Levi cry. I didn't say any. 
I tried to talk, but she pointed at me again. She started to cry, ran upstairs. Mama sad, Levi signed. Mama sad, Mama sad, Mama sad. He just kept signing it until I put my hand over his hands. Yeah, little dude, Mama sad. More dog sad too. That crumpled flyer from so many weeks ago, the one for the Carnival of Giving, it's still on my desk, making our family a charity. Making our family a charity would probably make mom more sad, but I've really been thinking about talking to them. The carnival people, I mean. I really might just do it. Talk to them, I mean. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Week 34. James, stop. You sound like Mrs. B. Just stop with the, you get more bees with honey than with vinegar. Who wants bees? Not me. I want Dr. Sawyer to write me back. Right now. I'm running out of time. P.S. Speaking of bees, Mrs. B doesn't wear any rings. In answer to your question from last week, I saw zero of them on her fingers. But that doesn't mean anything, you know. Mom still wears two rings on her I'm married finger. Just FYI. Sometimes we never know why people do the things they do. Mrs. B said it with that frown smile. You know, the one. Grown-ups do it when they're being serious. Sometimes we never know why people do the things they do. But we still love those people. Even when we're mad. Mrs. B added in the last part just as she ducked her head lower into the side. So her eyes and my eyes were even. And she didn't blink. And I didn't blink. And she did the frown smile again. And I don't know why. I just wanted to cry my eyes out. Supplies came today. I watched Mary sort through them all, her head shakingness in full force. So many things for such a little baby. She sighed, big and fake, <sighs> like she was on TV or something. Levi scooted over to her to try to grab some tubing. No, not for you. Mary snatched it out of his hands, and I said, Wait, that tubing is exactly for him. Why can't he check it out? Mary didn't answer, just clicked her tongue against her teeth. Timothy, she said, you're not allowed to be in here. Then she looked up and smiled. You push it with your left foot, then shift into gear. It's the clutch, dummy. Issa was laughing at me, laughing when I asked why the turtle car has two brakes. Push, shift, gas, or something like that. I don't know how to drive. She put her hand on my hand. She laughed again. It is the best sound, Issa laughing. Way better than the, what are you doing? That Jose yelled when he came in the garage. The engine still isn't working. It's not like the car was on or anything. Though I'm kind of worried he wasn't really mad about the car. Him. You can't. Don't. Stop. No. No. Mom's on the phone. I may or may not be pressing my ear to the door, listening so hard I can hear my heartbeat in between her words. I don't know who it is. I'm too afraid to ask. And that's going to do it, folks. Um, I hope that you're enjoying yourselves with this read aloud. I'm really enjoying reading it to all of y'all. And I forgot to tell you, we got a question, um, or I got a question, uh, on Twitter from a teacher who asked, uh, why the O in house arrest is yellow? Um, and my answer is, I don't really know, because, um, this, these are choices that the designer makes and that marketing and, and all of those people, uh, decide on. But, uh, what I like to think is that the O is yellow, um, because it's Timothy's room, um, and the light is on upstairs in his room. So that's what I think. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free um, to track me down on Twitter. It's just at Carrie Ann Holt. Um, and uh, you, if you don't want to at me, you can just use the hashtag um, Team House Arrest and I'll answer your questions. Okay, everyone have a lovely day. Please stay safe and stay well um, and be kind. Okay, all right. Bye.